boy, you know, a couple of weeks ago, people are hot. There was one name out there that people talking about. It was dominating at least for a day. One name was dominating the internet. And everybody was talking about, it. can you believe this bitch, LaQuisha? <laughs> When I say that, when I say this bitch, I'm talking about that white man. Yeah, yeah exactly. She's <laughs> brilliant. I know. Get her in. The quick gonna be the biggest thing in radio, but I still need my anonymity. You nervous? It's not a crime. It's theater. How you make that? Well, uh, first you go to dtmerch.com. <laughs> <laughs> you start with. Uh, one pour of that classic black teeth, that white logo. <laughs> you garnish it with some of that color with that neon shirt right there. Get the gift of choice. Just make whatever you want <laughs> after that. Uh, also, people, as I always say, uh, please, please subscribe or donate to DoubleToasted.com to keep these live streams going. You see how much fun we're having this evening, how much fun you're having this evening. Hey, it ain't cheap. And we only get by with your support. So please keep us going. <laughs> Toronto, we got just a few days left. That's why I'm upset because we got a few days left. We should really be hammering this in for people. Uh, May 25th, we're going to be at the Adelaide Hall for Toronto. Double toasted in Toronto. You know, everybody <laughs> talking about, damn, how in 2019 can a white man get away with making a movie where he plays a sassy black ghetto-ass girl named LaQuisha? That's how you know this is Trump's America now. Yeah, yep. they, they never stopped being in charge. Y'all y'all were treating this shit like this was coming out after the Avengers in the theaters. I got to admit that I didn't think it was going to Amazon Prime. I, I didn't think that either. <laughs> Ain't nothing prime about this shit I, at all. I mean, especially since the, the streaming wars are heating up, I didn't think any one of these services would make such a... a, 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 a a faux pas like this. Like, this is not the time to stumble over your sword. Yeah. No, no, this is, this, I looked at this and I said, you know, I thought this was going to go on crackle. Or, yes. <laughs> or, <laughs> or shit, I, I don't know. It sounds crazy, but I thought I might even go on to BET. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't think this was going to, you know, this is <laughs> some shit BET would think is really black entertainment right, right, right. here. This shit's profound. <laughs> it has a message. We don't know what the fuck it is, but there's a message in there somewhere. <laughs> Shit, this shit would confuse BT man. <laughs> Somewhere, Jeff Bezos is sitting in a castle looking at his empire and saying, How the f did Loquisha get in here? How did we get how did we get Trojan horse by this shit? <laughs> Trojan horse. <laughs> how did this get on my business? I th Amazon running the game out there. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way that I'd ever would have thought Amazon would allow this anywhere near right. their name. But I'm glad they did. <laughs> now, it might not be there tomorrow, so I jumped on it today as soon as possible. Why is everybody upset about this? Because this is a, a movie about a white guy who hears that they, uh, they have an opening for uh, a talk show host on their station. And he tries, which apparently they were putting in fortune cookies. And <laughs> wait, he, wait, wait. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. that's an that's an that's, ad. Yeah, that's, 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 an that's, ad? The, that's the job list. Yes, the job listing right there. Typed. On, yeah, on a typed. Yeah. <laughs> so they just don't give a. F yeah. No. Yeah, y'all thought Game of Thrones didn't give a. F you need to see this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and that's a close up. That's a close up. They want you to. They want you to see just how cheap this shit is. <laughs> couldn't even get a regular sheet of paper. No. <laughs> they couldn't even. Mar I, I, Billy, that that there are a couple examples in here where they didn't even have the budget to fake a page. Yeah. A page. And they went up to your ass and did this. Just in case you didn't know, <laughs> we are this cheap. Take a close look right in. It looked like it looked like you were at a Chinese food restaurant and your fortune is radio talk show host. Minorities and women encouraged to apply. Well, that's a odd future right there, but okay. okay. <laughs> uh, but you he, he go <laughs> Oddly specific, but uh, <laughs> seems kind of abstract. But yeah, as you see right there, they said minorities and women. So he decides to dress up, not not dress up, not dress up. He decides to actually uh, play the role of a, a sassy black woman on the radio. Do the voice. Now, if doing the voice, you know the girl, you know that sums it up right there. Doing the voice, of course, everybody thinks that this is a real black woman. And how long can he keep up this secret as LaQuisha continues? 
to rise in fame. Because <laughs> a radio talk, a local radio talk show is something that the town can't get enough of. Yeah. It's LaQuisha Mania. <laughs> How long can he keep up the charade? Oh, oh they're going worldwide. You don't even know. Oh, I, 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 know. I figured as much. You don't even know. Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer. Yes. Mm. We'll get y'all brushed up a little bit on LaQuisha. <laughs> Welcome to the Joe Show. I submitted myself to a radio station for my own show. Well, congratulations. They rejected me. Well, By the way, that drunk guy actually has a scene where he's like, where to go, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That old when he gets that old thing where you pass out. They actually do that. Now they, I've seen everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be he saw something that made him drop the bottle he was looking from. No. No, he does that old, that, the drunk pass out. <laughs> that is the oldest shit in the world. Where to go, Joe? <laughs> You live with Loquisha. What's your problem? Hi, Loquisha. It's free. Oh, I ain't talking to you. Not the way you sound. Next caller. You go, girl. When you start watching this, after the, after watching a trailer, you like, ooh, boy, I can't, I can't wait to get in this shit right here. I'm gonna tear that ass up. <laughs> and you just sit up there. You, you, man, you like a goddamn. Lying, just hiding in the weeds, just waiting. <laughs> Stalking your prey. Stalking Slowly your prey, just waiting. Up. In fact, you like that line, it's like, this is way too goddamn easy. I feel guilty about this. <laughs> like, you feel like a lion is like about to tear like a sick baby animal yeah, apart. Yeah, it's just like, antelope's got a broken leg. Yeah, this is, this is not, this, look, I'm an animal, but even I know this ain't right. That's what you kind of feel like. You're like, man, this is going to be too easy. But, man, when this starts, uh, the filmmaking is just basic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not even bad enough to criticize the cam the, the the camera is just put on a, on a tripod and just doing like some just real straightforward setups, you know, not not no no cool angles. Yeah, um, nothing real creative about that. The lighting, of course, is flat. Oh, boy, it's got it flat. that it's got that uh, faith based film lighting uh -huh. <laughs> going on with it. The sets, the sets in here. The sets are nothing but man, you could you could tell that they were just using somebody's house mm -hmm. or empty bar that they yeah. used at night or like the case right here with the radio station. You you could tell that that was an empty building. Yeah. Em empty, oh, yeah. That was an empty office building. Like at the last minute, they just brought in a desk and a bookshelf. <laughs> and, slid, and slid that plan in there. Yeah, yeah that plan. I always got that plan. <laughs> <laughs> Slip 20 bucks to, to the security guard yeah. and let him in. Yeah. I always got that cheap ass plastic plant back there, man, yep. to fill to fill space. Yeah, everyone's uh, desk is that clean, too, by the yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> they don't do any work. Yeah. And, uh, and on the music that you've heard, the music, I mean, the music's bad, but it's, it's like. For this, it's like, okay, you know, the music would be terrible by Hollywood standards, but it fits this. It's the straight up, like, 90s sitcom mm -hmm. music. Yeah. Wacky. Yeah. always get that one saxophone note. But then you're like, well, I got this asshole, Jeremy Seville, right here. This is the guy that's responsible for the movie. He's a comedian. And he's yes. made a, he's made a film before before this. I don't know how many movies he's made because I just I, I just jumped on this today, so I couldn't do a lot of research. I know he did one other that I'll be able to talk about. And you're like, well, at least I got this guy to make me mad, to give me something to talk about right here. Uh, you know, just you know, I, I, he's gonna be bringing the stereotypes, and that's what I'm really here for. And honestly, man, uh, you know, I, I, when he comes on at first, I will say he does not disappoint. You like, you like, man. This dude, he. This is just how he sees the world. Mm -hmm. if, if you know, if you ain't white, he sees you as as the stereotype that he was raised Cartoon. with, or some shit he saw on TV. Like he don't waste no time before before black people even get caught up in here. Before Laquisha is ever born here, of course he got to jump on that Indian accent. Mahatma, what do you want for dinner? Oh, it's all right. I had something out. What? You know, curry, madre. You like, oh, God, I see. That's the shit I'm wow, looking for man, right man. there. This, this, uh, I sit through this. Yeah, I was like, okay, now, now we working with something. Now I can get mad. <laughs> Did you see how bad the ADR was too? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it, oh, brother. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Billy. You just don't know. Okay. <laughs> Somebody looked at that and said, "Perfect, Billy. Keep that in mind." Okay. Can't forget it. Even when I tell you this. It will not prepare you. Okay. <laughs> Remember what you just said. All right. That ADR. 
this is some this is what they call in the movie business foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm like, shit, all, man, all right, now this is the guy that I want. This is the one I want. This is the mother I want to tear apart right uh-huh. here. But after that, after, <laughs> after he does that, it's like he just look, he can't act, all right? Uh-huh. But he's not, again, he's not terrible. He's not even he's not even annoying. You will actually say to yourself, man, you know what this movie could really use right now? Some racism. <laughs> it's like, some blatant racism. Like, it's like, I would never thought I would say this, but I really want some racism in it right now. I really want some racist stereotypes. Man, you showed up with your pitchforks and, and your torches. Your tiki, tiki torches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, at this point, you just kind of like, Jesus, I, I thought I'd never say this, but where's Laquisha? <laughs> Think I've been dreading this whole time. I was like, where is she? We could really use Loquisha at this I'll, point. I'm just waiting for you to drop that bomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, Billy, <laughs> 10 minutes in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, you getting soft on me. Boy, on? I was no. I said, I said, please don't let me sit up and have to be the guy to walk in tonight and be like, wow, Loquisha wasn't that bad. Yeah, the no. mob would turn on you. Oh boy, I was I was ready to give up on this. I was just like, well, shit, I'm all, I'm probably just gonna cut this off because I don't see it getting any worse right here. And then y'all saw in the trailer, and then before LaQuisha had to pop up, those other two black stereotypes came up. That's who needs their own show. I was a black woman. Oh, and there, and from that point on, LaQuisha is born in the movie. It not only turns into everything we feared. But so much more. Really? <laughs> Man, you I'm telling you, you cannot be prepared for the depths of race ignorance and everything else mm-hmm. that this movie gets into. You talked about that bad ADR. <laughs> it was horrible. More, boy, there's a moment in here where they went back and redubbed some shit, and it's so bad that I thought my stream was skipping. <laughs> I'm not lying. Might as well be watching a cartoon yeah, movie. Yeah, I had to play it around. You had to play it about three times. I was like, is this in the f-ing movie? Did my internet just cut off? Now, you got to be very quiet because you got to listen to this. Because it, it, it's, it, it's like if you're not paying attention, it will pass you. But I had on headphones and I heard it clearly. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Glad to see you're working so hard, Joe. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. No, no. Dude, y'all got to be quiet. Listen, okay, okay, yo, you need to get to it yet. Don't say nothing. All right. Glad to see you're working so hard, Joe. I got a smartphone. But you said you hated smartphones. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see why I told you yeah, to wait? Yeah. That's why I was like, shut up! Christ. That's something, man, again, we looking at adult swim level. Yeah. Tom, Tommy Wiseau, someone's watching this, like, Jesus. <laughs> did, you, did you hear this? Glad to see you're working so hard, Joe. I got a smartphone. But you said you hated smartphones. I was <laughs> that's, that's not even the same person saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you hated smartphones. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you hated microphones. <laughs> <laughs> now I think what happened was they, they said, said iPhones, I said iPhone, and somebody said you, you can't, can't you, you can't say that. <laughs> well, can you get the actor back to? to or can just you just? It? Or record the whole, can, just like, like record the whole piece how of much, dialogue. How much would it have cost to reshoot that scene? They got a scene where it's uh, where it's a uh, uh, Laquisha has become famous at this point. Yeah, and they her her uh, uh, her show is advertised all over the city, and so one of her advertisements is on the side of a moving bus, uh-huh. and you can tell that it's just a piece of uh, clip art that they put <laughs> or it's just a it's it's just a, a J it's just a JPEG they put in After Effects and they mm-hmm. did some terrible tracking. Look at this. <laughs> Dude with a camera running past the yeah. <laughs> bus. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> this gonna be the last take. I can't do this oh, anymore. Oh Jesus, man! <laughs> you have one more time, please. Yeah, man. Look, look, look at this. You see, you see that shit wobbling. Yeah. <laughs> look, <laughs> look like they. I've seen better effects on Pokemon Go than I'm seeing on this right here. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell that he is just so pleased with himself doing this voice. It, oh, he's yeah. making the faces. He, and yeah, yeah, he loves it, man. The scenes go on and on. It's really, 
it's embarrassing to see just how funny he thinks <laughs> right. this uh-huh. is. Uh-huh. He has the this guy. I mean, sometimes you just don't even get mad at him. You just feel sorry for yeah. him. You're just like, wow, you don't have no f-ing clue, man. Steph? No, it ain't. How can you tell? Okay, stop. Loquisha don't play that. Okay, you don't call on my show with no fake ass name. We keep it real up in here. It's like he just goes on and on. <laughs> How you gonna do a close up like that? And your ADR is so. <coughs> is is any of it synced up? <laughs> no, it's hardly. <laughs> Half this movie is off track. Yeah. Half this movie about as wobbly as that f-ing sign was on that bus. And <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I think this is a Ukrainian movie. Yeah, they like you don't even speak English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something got lost in translation. <laughs> Shut up, Martin. <laughs> yeah. Like maybe there was a really positive racial message here <laughs> and it just got lost in translation and now we got luck. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is how he sees the world in his head when he's doing this impression. He thinks Everyone is loving this uh-huh. shit like you see people loving it in the movie. Mm-hmm. He, this movie is his own warped fucking world, man. Right, right. You know, I mean, no matter how bad this movie is, you think that at least there would be one common sense point where one character would say, hey, man, you got to stop. Or, hey, man, don't do this at all. Or, this right. is a bad idea. No one ever utters those words, man. I saw that brother cheese. <laughs> but yeah, the trailer. Like, clearly not that the black people don't. <laughs> yeah, oh, he was cheesing that oh, trailer. Oh man, <laughs> that the the brother in this right here, yeah. <laughs> Who his brother? Go? This brother that that's his closest black friend, if not his only black friend in the movie. The the guy Steven Joe, the, the 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 Joe, the main character, and uh, ah. his his black friend. He never says. This is kind of offensive, man. Or I don't know. Look, yeah. I'll give you a chance. No, he he's on board right from the beginning, <laughs> and, he, and he even complete with shots of looking at 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 uh, Joe doing Laquisha. He's like, Joe, you crazy? That Laquisha, she crazy. <laughs> 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 Why that crazy, Joe? Yeah. That's my friend. I'm proud of you, though. Yeah, it was like a tender moment. Like it was. He's finally arrived. That's yeah, what it was. Which is, yeah. I don't know what to be offended or just laugh. And- he shook his head like, you know, we're all a little bit of Loquisha. Ah, <laughs> uh, he. <laughs> it's like he's like looking at him like, well, he's really doing it. Yeah, that's great. Then we get some uh, Twilight Zone shit with this. It finally goes into Twilight Zone territory where everybody loves LaQuisha, of course. Yeah. Including, you know, and it's one thing to have the white people love LaQuisha, but every black person, there's not no there's no protest. You know, the, N- the NAACP ain't out there. Uh, 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 Al Sharpton ain't, ain't done, doesn't exist in this, in this universe. Everybody, mostly black people, think LaQuisha is the voice of the Negro American. You go, girl. Complete with other black stereotypes yeah, yeah. from the 90s. From the 90s, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Laquisha, this fucking racial stereotype is bringing the world together, uh-huh. man. Uh, they look for the opposites. I'm surprised they didn't have, like, uh, I'm surprised they didn't have, uh, 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 like, like gangbangers and Ku Klux Klan members just, like, listen to Laquisha together. Yeah, I know. That's why I hate the, 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 the YouTube of the trailer. Like, it's bringing people together. It's bringing people together. You got the prison guard and the, and the, and the convict going, yeah. Oh, and <laughs> Billy, bumping. and you know what? I didn't even know how bad it looked because <laughs> just the prison and the guard, like, like you got to see what the prison is. It's like, it's like a Martha Stewart prison oh. thing. <laughs> how you like that? <laughs> you can tell that they built this shit. Oh yeah, that's a st- that's a that's yeah. A set. It, 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 it's all fresh paint, <laughs> <laughs> and the bars are plastic. Yeah. <laughs> it goes from being in, it, from being the Twilight Zone to just straight up in the inception of racial ignorance. Because <laughs> it just got layers, man. It, it it turns into some meta shit. Okay, like there's a scene, <laughs> there's a scene here. I don't know how long this goes on. This is pretty. I, I'll play a little bit of it. But there's a scene in here where you have, well, now this is going to sound racist myself. I don't know how else to say it. I'm just going to take it for the context. Uh, you have well-spoken black women coming in to audition for this role, this stereotypical, sassy-ass, ghetto-ass role God of damn, LaQuisha. Man. Hello, everybody. So good to see y'all. How y'all doing? So good to be here today. Woo! So this shit gets so racist, uh, she just loses her fucking mind. Uh, I like, I, I, okay, they're both staring at her, like, why is she talking like that? Uh-huh. Normal. Yeah. The black dude is like, 
Like, like that's that's those are the shots you do yeah. when you do a montage of auditions where people come in acting crazy. Yeah, this is not yeah. when they come in speaking normally. Well, then, well, they it does get crazy. I mean, it gets to a point where I mean, you know, like I said, man, they got the, right. the the obligatory uh, audition scene or montage because they have to show what Laquisha looks like. So they audition for Laquisha. I mean, thanks for coming in. There's already a man doing a voice. I'm so. happy to blow you two for the part. Until they finally get their racial stereotype. Uh, in the movie, which is uh, the woman that they find playing LaQuisha. My idol. That's my girl. Great. Uh, Renee. Renee Michelle, like Obama. One of my other role models. You got some fucking nerve. You got some nerve even uttering the name Michelle Obama in this goddamn movie right Just here. say Mammy. That's your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> plot-wise, is, does this woman decide she wants to take over the role and do it full time. Oh, Martin, I don't want to spoil it for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just have to see that for yourself. You know good and goddamn well that's what happens. I didn't know we going to go nutty professor with this or, or, or split because it turns into, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, it, it, like LaQuisha starts to become kind of, uh, take, starts to take over his mind. So he, there's, a, there's a portion of the movie where he has to fight LaQuisha. Are and you? And when I'm saying like we're going into some like uh, uh, ignorant race inception type stuff, like he fights Lu- Lu- Loquisha, a, an offensive black stereotype, while he, the white man that came up with this, is about to have sex with a black woman. Mm. Oh, you don't know, Joe. <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing. Damn, that feels good, girl. You, you know, it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that like, scene was so poorly shot, too. Did you see how poorly lit that scene was? Yeah, man, yeah. Oh, man that's, that's the least of that's what's going yeah. on. <laughs> I know what I had to do. And, like, and it's like, I know. Oh, wow. I said, and at first you say, I look at this and I was like, look, this is what I actually, I, I, I actually looked at my computer screen. I said, you stop this. You stop this right now. Don't do this. Whatever this other bullshit you were doing before, I didn't like it, but get back to it because I this, this is getting ridiculous now and they're like oh no 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 Corey no we're gonna go full gollum with it now he actually starts to fight laquisha in his head oh my god sir have you been drinking tonight no sir oh yes he was will you shut up the wife obsessed with her i am laquisha officer <laughs> it's like geez if gollum was a racial black stereotype offensive black stereotype this is what we get right here he's fighting look he's actually fighting his own racism. <laughs> movie. Have you been drinking? Have you been drinking, night officer? I know what you mean. My wife loves her. Yeah. So it was that easy to get out of that conversation, uh, that part of the conversation. Uh, uh, yeah. Is it? it yeah, it's Gollum shit. That's some Gollum some shit. Thing, yeah. Black Gollum. <laughs> I, I I gotta say, as much as you kept showing a clip from that scene, I was not expecting it to to play out like that. Neither neither was I. I was like, I know you're not gonna do this. I know you're not gonna do this. Yes, we. It off. Turn, turn around, turn around. <laughs> I want to get. <laughs> I said, "Oh Jesus, what you, what we got now?" And it gets to a point. LaQuisha gets so famous that he gets an email from Oprah. Oprah wants to do this. Oh, <laughs> Oprah would have this shit shut down and have this man <laughs> murdered. Now that's why they should have had the bad ADR replacing her name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I want I want you to see something. When we're talking about like they couldn't afford a page, this man he couldn't even afford to make a mock uh, Gmail page. He actually used his real account. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he redacted it himself. I mean, he redacted. He he went in. He went and blurred out all the email on his email page, his, his Gmail page, and just in Photoshop Oprah at the top. <laughs> LaQuisha is so big that Oprah herself sent an email from her personal Gmail account. Oh, you fucking It's not even Harpo. Not one of her Straight up. Assistants. She, was, she doesn't want him to throw in that email. Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> not a producer. <laughs> if somebody did that, that would be somebody with him, that would be a exactly. fake. Exactly. That's a good thing it didn't go to his spam filter. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he never would have known about it. He, there, there's there's two moments in here where he tries to give the he he tries to make a statement about not being racist. Don't be racist. I got another job. Doing what? 
consulting work. What the hell would you know about being a white guy anyway? I know quite a bit. Loquisha is a real role model for every African American woman. And that's whole the whole thing with that speech when he's doing the, with the other white guy. He's giving this whole long speech like, you just mad because I'm a successful black woman who's doing better than you because you lost your job. And it's like, Jesus, man, you have a... I was just waiting for somebody to come in the shot and just put a mirror right in front of him <laughs> while he's doing this. Oh, God. Was that, was that what I look like? Is that what I'm doing? Is that me? Oh, Jesus. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> and, and there's another moment in here where he's confronted by a black character who tells him how offensive it is. They actually oh, so oh, it does. They do it, do it, do it does. All right. At, there's a moment in here where uh, they address it. She says, you know, is that what you think of as a black woman? You know, all this girl and hey and shucking and jiving and you do all this. She's like, you're racist too. And 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 then he's like, Jesus, I guess I really am, kind of. And But then... But making me money. But, yeah. Oh, but then they, 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 they hug it out. They even make out. And he keeps doing it. <laughs> but the end of the movie, he's like, well, look, I'm just going to spoil it for y'all. At the end of the movie, he's just kind of <laughs> like, well, the people voted. Because he, he comes out and tells them, like, hey, I'm really a white guy. We'll let the people vote on who they want to have here still. Do they want me out of the station? Do they want Joe? Do they want LaQuisha? Gets the call. Hey, it's a tie. They want both me and LaQuisha. Oh, and at the end of the movie, he's like, well, people, this is Joe. I had a good time with you. This is me signing off. But before I go, we're going to hear a word from our Friend that everybody loves, LaQuisha. And he comes in, hey, and then it just grows the credits. <laughs> just like, wow. So you mean to tell me after that long revelation that you had, you learned absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it meant nothing. <laughs> you sat up there. <laughs> you sat up there and admitted that you were wrong and just said, f*** it. I'm going to keep doing it. Why? Because it's funny. <laughs> I would really love to sit down and talk to this guy. Like I said, I wouldn't even be mean to him. I'll sit down and talk to him face to face and be like, okay, what, what is going on with this movie and what made you think it was okay? And explain to me why you, in 2019, thought this would be a good idea to release this. I don't have to explain nothing yeah, yeah, to you. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't get it, that's your fault. I would, expect, I would, I would love him to get it in a character real hard. like, I ain't got to explain nothing to you, nigga. <laughs> LaQuisha. Okay, when I wait, you better. <laughs> yeah, slow down there. Yeah. You got to explain that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is when I know you really are crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need help, man. <laughs> and I'm about to give it to you. <laughs> yeah. A one, two. Right. We're talking about this, but, uh, you know, let, let's talk serious, though, about why people, because some people are going to still say, well, he admitted it was wrong. Uh, you know, he tried to confront some racial uh, uh, issues here. Uh, you know, yeah, maybe the production wasn't that great, but the guy's trying. You know, he's doing his thing. You always talk about how you support independent filmmakers and whatnot. But here's the disturbing thing about LaQuisha, man. Uh, yes, LaQuisha is, LaQuisha is sassy, you know, straight up neck rolling black, almost to a point, angry black woman sassy. Yes, to a certain extent, she's also ghetto. But the, 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 the thing with this, and he thinks that because... He can go in with that voice, but have her say, uh, I'm a strong black woman, that you are representing a strong black woman. Mm. You're not. And that's the problem here, man. That like it's not even ghetto, it's not sassy. They don't realize that this that they are they it's been ingrained in their minds to see an extension of another stereotype, which we you've already mentioned before, which is uh, a lot of these things that we see today are extensions of the black mammy. You stay here. Us was going to kill the high stepness roost in the yard and a great big bowl of milk gravy and grits. And waffles? Now, while LaQuisha uh, is not docile like the black mammy, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people, as I said, it's been ingrained in their minds this stereotype right here. Shit, we were growing up, we would see this on Tom and Jerry cartoons. Mm -hmm. You know, we would see this in Looney Tunes. Yeah. And we, and, Thomas! Yeah, you yeah. would see it on God, you know, you would see it in God in the Wind. Uh, you know, and and that stereotype has lasted over the years to where people still look at black women to a certain extent and project that image on them, sure. not even knowing it's if, if from that. You know, he this guy is seeing black stereotypes, man, and he's seeing a projection of the mammy in a way. And the further disturbing thing about that is that he knows that uh, he admitted in the movie that is wrong. He came right out and, and had an actor read words to him that he wrote saying, hey, you're being racist. This is a stereotype. You're shucking and jiving. And he, 
and uh uh and you know what and he did that because society told him that that that's what he has to say yet yeah, it's a parachute. he is, yeah it, exactly because he he thinks that admitting that is wrong still gives him a pass to do it he he, he is better. he's he is self aware and he sees the world in stereotypes. He's not ready to let go of what he would probably call like this non-PC humor that people get hung up on. Mm-hmm. And uh, he doesn't want to move on. And it's not just with black people, like I said. I'm sure he does. Somebody told me he does it with, uh, he does a gay character. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw it in the movie so, early before yeah, he got Indian, to black people. the Indian one. Mahatma, what do you want for dinner? Oh, it's all right. I had something out. What? Mm, you know, curry. You know, it's, it's, it's not even a good Indian accent. No. One of the things that he's also taken a, a hit on is like uh, uh, women. Like he made a movie called The Test, and uh, somebody said they just seen it, and it, and it's it's one of those things where he sees women as they just go for guys with money, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. uh, that they're they're unfaithful, they're tempted by guys who are assholes, are 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 they uh, have more wealth? Like uh, one of those reality shows. So you want me to prank my fiance? No, not prank. In fact, she wavered. In fact, she forgot your name. You know, this whole thing is about putting, uh, again, his narrow view of comedy, putting a, uh, uh, taking his 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 fiance, uh, and putting her in front of like you know, uh, good looking, handsome, wealthy guys, and seeing if she'll fall for that. Right. Uh, I, I look. That's you could probably make that premise work. But from <clears> what <throat> I heard from reviews of this, it's like it plays out just as. And flat and stereotypical as you as you would expect from him. I, I disagree that you <clears throat> make that premise work. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 smelling a, a Jeremy Seville film festival coming up. Oh, if you think you can last that long. <laughs> and while we're talking about film festivals right here, I'm thank you, Mon, for bringing that up because one of my things I want to say to people, uh I I, I don't mean to uh I haven't been to this film festival. I don't uh oh, I, I, I don't know. mean to uh criticize. But if I were you, if you have a film, I would not submit it to the San Luis uh, Obispo <laughs> Festival right if they took this. <laughs> you ask, may, before you put your movie to the festival, ask, did y'all have LaQuisha in here too? <laughs> this is something that, and uh, it sounds, just bear with me, it's going to sound crazy. This is something that could have worked. He's not a good enough writer to know what he has. He could have done something where, look, I wouldn't even done this, this kind of story. You know, this has been done to death. You know, we saw different versions of this before. Uh, a lot of people are comparing it to this movie right here. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Watson, and good luck at Harvard. Thank you, sir. Now, this is C. Thomas Howe in Soul, Soul Man, Man, where he darkened his skin. And, and he got turned into an Indian and guy. Get, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what kind of f***ing world is this where you think this dude is black? <laughs> He's not even corny black. He's not, you know, he's not he's not black at all. I used to say this is an Indian Pakistani or something, you know. He drinks a pill that got turned into a terrorist. Yeah, he ain't even Mexican. That motherfucker look like he look like M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> With a perm. With a perm. <laughs> Tell me M. Night Shyamalan don't look like that. And even I would defend this movie against this because this movie at least tried to have a message right. about it, race. It, it tried. It really did. It, it fumbled the ball, but it yeah. did try. It tried. It did. It did it you know, it, it was it was highly misguided, but it tried, man. It tried its best. This movie don't try to have any message at all. They're doing it because they want to get a laugh, a cheap laugh. And this movie probably could have. It, it could look like I said. I would have taken the premise, man. It's Tootsie. They even mentioned in the movie, right? Tootsie, yeah. Tootsie, uh, Soul Man. Uh, you know, anytime you've had somebody who's trying to like uh, gender swap, race swap, white chicks. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just white. Yes, white chicks. You know, you know, there's something about it that reminds me of the beaver also. He could have made something where it would have been, can you imagine how cool this would have been if he had played a black woman? Even if he played a stereotype, it could have been like, first of all, he's punking all these white supremacists out there. Yeah. Uh, but then it could have been a message about how he sees stereotypes too, mm-hmm. even though he thinks he's doing something good out there. It could have made a really cool message for this time, this era of Trump. And he... Well, 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 lots, I mean, I'm he, asking for he, a real he, movie. He's, he's, he doesn't have the the talent or the intelligence to pull off something like that. This guy's he's a hacky comedian. With, and he has with, one, yeah, one, one, yeah, <clears throat> one, one, one shtick, and he's thinking and he thinks like, he does really well. Yeah, he he thinks it's funny, and he figures, okay, I made another movie, I'll do it with this. This will yeah. this will be the one that'll push me over. Yeah, and God, he's yeah. so proud of himself when yeah. you just look at him. Like even I mean, we shouldn't be able to. That shouldn't be able to come across on camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it does. Yeah, and it's just it's like you just want to slap the shit. Out of him. The the worst thing that any <clears throat> kind of artist can do out there that for any kind of artist that puts something out there for mass consumption 
is to have a complete lack of self-awareness. Mm-hmm. Uh, Soul Man at least tried to actually make a statement about stereotypes. This movie fully embraces it. Mm-hmm. Uh, embraces <laughs> racial stereotypes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, if I had to give this, uh, if I have to give this a rating, I, like I said, I'm not even mad, man. I'm just kind of just baffled by this. I really would love to talk to this guy. I don't, I'm not even gonna give this a fuck you. I'm getting this a bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> so I can really drive it home. <laughs> bitch, you bitch. Yeah, yeah. Are you for real? Oh, are you bitch, for are real? you for real, bitch? <laughs> You, 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 come on, man. Somebody talk sense to this man. And thanks for watching the whole video. You must have had a good time. So don't stop. Hit that subscribe button. And better yet, check out all of our videos on our main site, doubletoasted.com. Over there, you'll find the long form version of this video right here. Unedited, uncensored, along with the live streams that we do almost every night of the week. Support us at dtmerch.com. Remember to always stay 